Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of ridge goat crop. Ridge goat has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called Turai. The botanical or scientific name of ridge goat is Lufa acutangula and it belongs to the family Cucurbitaceae. Ridge goat is a fence creeper and can also be grown on the ground. It is an annual herbaceous plant which dies at the end of each growing season. Ridge goat stem is angular in cross section with five longitudinal ridges. Ridge goat leaves are alternate and rounded, hairy and kidney shaped. Flowers of ridge goat plant are monoecious in nature. Male and female flowers are found on different axes of the same plant. Thus, cross pollination is highly favorable. The fruits of ridge goat are small and round to sometimes large with elongated necks. The fruits are green in color at first and turn brown as and when they ripen. Ridge goat needs plenty of sunlight for its growth. The plant does not grow well in shady areas. The plant grows well under temperatures between 25 degrees centigrade and 35 degrees centigrade. The optimum temperature required for germination is between 25 degrees centigrade and 35 degrees centigrade. Temperatures below 15 degrees centigrade and above 35 degrees centigrade reduces the yield of the crop. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation of ridge goat crop. The stages are land preparation, mulching sheet and drip irrigation arrangement, seed sowing, staking and trellising, pest and disease management and harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of ridge goat crop. Ridge goat grows in a wide range of soils but it thrives best in sandy and loamy soils. The suitable soil pH range is between 6.5 to 7.5 for ridge goat crop. A well pulverized soil promotes soil aeration and enhances root formation. Prepare the field as early as possible to give enough time for the weeds and stubbles of previous crops to decompose. Plough the soil with chisel plough and harrow two to three times alternately at one week's interval. Plough at a depth of 15 to 20 centimeters. Harrow twice to break the clods and level the field. Adding organic manure and farmyard manure makes the soil rich and gives better yield and better quality can be expected. Once adding farmyard manure to soil is complete, cover the manure with soil and arrange mulching sheet and drip irrigation system to make the land preparation complete. Let us now see how the mulching sheet and drip irrigation system is arranged in the pendles field. The arrangement of mulching sheet is very important because it is completely impermeable to water and prevents the direct evaporation of moisture from the soil and thus limits the water losses and conserves moisture. Mulch can facilitate fertilizer placement and reduce the loss of plant nutrient through leaching. Mulches can also provide a barrier to soil pathogen and prevent germination of annual weeds from receiving light. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but produces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a much more controlled irrigation method. 
It works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady pattern and a controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. Mulching sheet and drip irrigation arrangement is now over. Let us now see the seed sowing stage. A hectare of field requires 2 to 3 kgs of seeds. Soak the seeds in clean water for 24 hours and treat the seeds with carbon dazim to prevent soil bone diseases. July and January are suitable months for sowing. Sow the seeds to a depth of 2.5 to 3 cm into the soil. The distance between seed to seed is 2 feet and the distance between row to row is 2 meters. Irrigate the field with drip irrigation. The seeds will germinate in 7 to 10 days. Rich gourd is a dicotyledon plant, so seedling possess two round cotyledons. In this stage, rich gourd utilizes the nutrition in the soil and grows rapidly. Hand weeding is recommended during this stage. Frequent irrigation makes the crop healthy. The crop is now ready for staking, so let us now see how to stake the ridge goat crop. Ridge goat grows very fast and winds elongate rapidly within 4 weeks of germination. Thereafter, the plant sends out lateral stems. Staking and realizing increases ridge goat yield and size, reduces fruit rot and makes spraying and harvesting easier. Let us now see how pruning helps in the cultivation process of ridge gourd crop. Ridge gourd develops many side branches that are not productive. To improve yield, remove lateral branches until the runner reaches the top of the trellis. Leave 4 to 6 laterals and cut the top of the main runner to induce early cropping. There are several methods of trellising ridge gourd. Bamboo poles, wood stakes, PVC pipes or other sturdy material can be used to provide support and keep the fruit and foliage off the ground. The trellis is arranged either in a lean-to or tunnel structure. Horizontal stakes are installed at the top joining all other beds. The stakes support the climbing vines and lateral stems. Strings are used to secure adjoining stakes. Plants are easier to manage and more productive when 2 meters high rather than when 1 meter high. String trellises are used for the tunnel type. Plants are grown inside an arched shaped structure made of either PVC or galvanized iron pipe. Plants are supported by bamboo stakes where vines freely climb and reach the top. The vines and lateral stems will then grow along the structure. Let us now understand pest and disease management in the cultivation process of ridge goat crop. The ridge goat crop can be attacked by pests such as mites, beetles, fruit flies, caterpillars and aphids. The major diseases that can attack the crop are powdery mildew and downy mildew. Spraying of miticide dicofol controls the attack by mites and in the same way insecticide imidacloprid stops the aphids attack on the crop.
Spraying of insecticide Melatheon controls the caterpillar's attack and insecticide Dimethoate can stop the attack by fruit flies. Fungicide Dinocap controls the powdery mildew disease and spraying of Chlorothalonil stops the downy mildew attack on the crop. Let us now see the flowering and fruit formation stage in the cultivation process of ridge goat crop. The ridge goat fruits should be harvested when they are still green and in tender stage. Sharp knives can be used to cut the fruits from vine. Delay in harvesting causes the fruit to become very hard and brown in color and which cannot be marketed. Harvesting should be done only after 10 days of insecticide or fungicide application. The rich goats should be washed thoroughly in water before sending to the local market. The average yield for the crop is 14 to 15 tons per hectare. This was about the harvesting stage in the cultivation process of ridge goat crop. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of ridge goat crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.